Oh yeah. What the superpower you want says about you. Invisibility. You're either the kind who would use it to prank your friends, or you'd go straight to the bank. Super speed. You already talk too fast as it is. Now you want to be a human race car? Super strength. You're going to go to the gym just to flex on everyone. You're also going to pick up cars, because why not? Super intelligence. You might be really smart, but you'll probably be depressed. Firepower. The world would probably be safer if you didn't have it. Ice power. You could use it to save people, but you'll probably use it for unlimited free ice in your drink. Water power. If you're ever thirsty in the middle of the night, you won't have to go all the way to the sink. Electricity. You're gonna get used by your friends to charge their phones. Teleportation. You would travel the world and still have enough money to buy stuff. Multiple clones. You're either gonna get along great with your clones, or you're gonna fight with them worse than anyone else. Mind control. You're already a control freak as it is. Hypnosis. You're a more chill control freak. Poison. Your personality is kind of toxic, so at least the power would be fitting. Laser beams. If someone annoys you, laser beam. If someone talks back to you, laser beam. Flight. You're gonna fly partly because it's awesome, but also because it'll let you get some fresh air away from everyone. Unlimited money. You're probably evil or will become evil. Weapon mastery. You'll be so good with every weapon, people are gonna call you a hacker in real life. Creating things out of thin air. You're never gonna buy a single thing again. You might start selling though. Freeze time. You're gonna treat life like a movie and pause it during the funny parts. Go back in time. You must have a lot of regrets. Or you're a historical nerd who wants to see it all. Fast forward time. You get bored a lot. Super luck. You're going straight to the casino. Telekinesis. You're so lazy that you'll never use your hands again. Every snack or drink will float right into your mouth. Opening portals. You should never be late for an appointment again, but you probably still will. Magic. You've probably got piercings, facial hair, or colored hair in real life. Or you're a character in Raid Shadow Legends. Yes, this is another Raid Shadow Legends ad. But I promise it's different. It's a completely new thing. There's a brand new series called Call of the Arbiter, and it's full of backstory and lore for the characters of Raid. For example, I didn't really think much of Gallic before, and I didn't even know who he was. I didn't know his name. I just thought he was some random orc dude on the cover of Raid Shadow Legends. But after watching episode one, I know his backstory, and I want him on my team. My respect for Gallic as a character skyrocketed. Bro had to face his father. My heart. You can watch Call of the Arbiter for free in-game, and new episodes are coming out every Thursday at 10 a.m. EST until July 20th. There's also lore videos and behind-the-scenes content on YouTube. The limited series Call of the Arbiter expands the world of Raid to be something completely new. Like, there's personality now. There's drama. I genuinely enjoyed it. Anyways, the series is cool and you should check it out. In celebration, Raid Shadow Legends is actually adding a ton of new features related to the show, like bios explaining more backstory and lore so you can really get to know them for characters like Gallic, Death Knight, and more. If you've never played Raid before, now is probably the best time to jump in. Tons of new stuff and free rewards, like how everyone has a chance to get Artak, one of the main characters from the show, for free just by logging into Raid for 7 days between now and July 24th. So if you're brand new to Raid and you haven't downloaded it yet, you can try it out now by using my link in the description, or by scanning my QR code to get some crazy bonuses, like the epic champion knight Errant, and other cool stuff like that. Oh yeah. Once again, link is in the description. Thank you Raid for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into these superpowers! Regeneration. You're so reckless already that I wish you had this power for your own good. Super durability. You always choose the tank characters in video games. Breathe underwater. You're gonna end up having fish for family. Shapeshifting. The amount of chaos and messing with people you could do is unfathomable. And that's exactly why you want it. Immortality. It sounds cool now, but when everyone you've ever loved is gone, you're gonna be dead inside. Just not on the outside. X-ray vision. You don't like surprise presents. Sound power. You already have that, bro. When you yell, it's super annoying. Bring back the dead. The first thing you're using it on is your pet. Earthbending. You're not a complicated person. You just know boulder smash. Perfect reflexes. You always end up dropping your food or bumping into things. It would be a lifesaver. Climb walls. 
first thing you're gonna climb is a giant skyscraper. Okay, maybe that's too big. Maybe just the ceiling of your room. Talk to animals. It's awesome until you find out they're saying horrible things about you. Stretchy body. You're super goofy, not gonna lie. Enhanced senses. You'll always know when someone's talking bad about you. You might not do anything about it, but you'll know. Size changing. We're all assuming you want to get super big or super tiny, but actually, you just want to be a few inches taller. Create force fields. That force field is going to be your safe space from enemy attacks and from annoying people. 